This paper examines how phenological mismatch between migratory herbivores and their forage species may alter resource availability and plant rates in coastal western Alaska. We found that a three-week change in goose grazing has a greater impact on plant resources than a similar shift in timing of the growing season. Climate change is rapidly affecting Arctic ecosystems and is consequently altering the timing of ecological events and interactions. Warmer temperatures and shorter winters are causing earlier snowmelt and advanced spring growing conditions. While some migratory species are responding to these changes, there is still the potential for climate-induced mismatch to occur between species, especially long-distance migrants due to the differing cues and rates of greenup in their winter and summer ranges. Phenological mismatch occurs when two species, typically a producer and consumer, become separated in the timing of their activities. In this case, the timing of vegetation biomass and quality, which has historically matched the timing of herbivore grazing, is occurring earlier due to an advancement of the growing season. Similarly, asynchronous cues initiating migration from the winter range can cause migrants to arrive early or late relative to greenup. Previous studies investigating phenological mismatch have primarily focused on the effects of, on herbivore consumers and their populations. However, few studies have looked at the effects on the producer and its physical traits. We investigated the effects of phenological mismatch in the Yukon Delta in coastal western Alaska, where there is a potential for mismatch between the start of the growing season and arrival by migratory Pacific black brant. The Yukon Delta is the summer breeding ground for millions of migratory shorebirds and waterfowl, where species travel thousands of miles from across the globe to nest and raise their young. Some species, like Pacific black brant, have evolved to time their migrations in order to optimize the availability and nutrient content of their forage resources, which are critical for feather development and gosling growth. In this study, we examined how do the timing of the growing season and migratory arrival and grazing by geese interact to affect the growth response and physical traits of an important goose forage resource. To investigate this question, we conducted a field experiment where we manipulated the start of the growing season and the timing of grazing by geese, simulating different phenological mismatch scenarios. We used open top chambers that passively warmed the soil and advanced the growth of plants by about three weeks during the early part of the season. We also used captive black brant and allowed them to graze our experimental plots at different points in the season to simulate early, typical, late, and no grazing. Our study demonstrates that mismatch in timing between geese and their forage resources had a greater impact on vegetation than a similar shift in the timing of the growing season. Both treatments simulating conditions consistent with future predictions for the Yukon Delta, delayed grazing and an earlier growing season, had similar effects and generally resulted in greater biomass and increased inflorescence production. Because Carex subspathacea normally undergoes clonal reproduction, this shift to sexual reproduction could have consequences for the genetic diversity of the species on the landscape. We also found that early migratory arrival and grazing negatively impacted plant resources, with reductions in above-ground biomass, stem heights, tillers, and root biomass. This suggests that if geese arrive before greenup, they may negatively impact their forage resources. Finally, some plant responses were not evident until the second or third year of the experiment suggesting that consistent directional changes in mismatch may be needed to produce measurable effects on vegetation. This has implications for shorter-term experiments that might underestimate the long-term consequences of mismatch on lower trophic levels. In summary, our results suggest that climate-driven changes in the timing of goose arrival may have greater consequences for coastal forage resources than a similar shift in the timing of local spring conditions. Determining how climate change will influence the timing of migratory goose arrival to the Yukon Delta is critical to understand the response in plants, especially traits that require multiple years to observe or those that alter their directional response over time. However, even short-term phenological mismatch may have long-term implications for the dynamics of an important arctic forage species with potential consequences for the herbivores that rely on them.